Hello there, a very good morning and welcome to ITA News with me, Bhakti Abe Surya. To begin with, let's take a look at the stories making headlines this morning. Prime Minister says that a regulatory laboratory will be set up to examine the quality of medicine. The Elections Commissioner reveals registration can be given only to the real heart but not to a symbol. The Colombo High Court sentences former Homagama District judge to 16 years of rigorous imprisonment. In news from overseas, a judge expresses disgust at the US President's former advisor. And now for the news in detail. Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksha says that a regulatory laboratory will be set up to examine the quality of medicine. The Prime Minister said this while attending a function to hand over new appointments. Letters of appointments to 1,360 in various fields of the health sector were given at the function. Officials, including 538 public health nurses, 266 public health inspectors and 48 school dentists received their appointments on the occasion. Speaking on the occasion, the Prime Minister said there are allegations against importing medicine and about quality of medicine during the previous administration. He pointed out that it is important to check the quality of medicine for the good health of the public. Chairman of the Elections Commission, Mahinda Deshapriya, says that the Commission will look into the symbols of political parties only after the Parliament is dissolved. He was replying to four journalists rather, following a function in Vaunia. He said that the election will be held after 52 days and before 66 days before the dissolution of Parliament. He said there will be difficulties for the officials to work due to April holidays. There are more than 150 applications from new political parties for registration. He further said that problems related to the symbol will arise only during the first week after dissolving the parliament. Therefore, requests to change party symbols at present will not be considered. He added that the heart symbol is not in their list and registration can be given only to the real heart but not for a symbol. The Colombo High Court has sentenced former Homagama District Judge Sunil Labe Singha to 16 years of rigorous imprisonment for accepting a bribe of 300,000 rupees in 2013. His then personal security officer, police constable Mahinda Kitsuri, who was convicted of aiding and abating, also received the same sentence. Colombo High Court Judge Aditya Patabandige, delivering the verdict, imposed a fine of 20,000 rupees on both of them. If the two convicts fail to pay the fine, they will be sentenced to an additional year of rigorous imprisonment. They were also ordered to pay back 300,000 rupees that they had accepted as a bribe. The bribery commission arrested them in May 2013 while receiving the bribe from a person in Hanwella area to deliver a favourable verdict in a case that was being heard before him. Sri Lanka Parliament has won an international award to steps taken to publicize the value evaluations development projects among the public. The awarding of Evaluation Consultancy and Usage Award was presented to the Sri Lanka's Parliament Members Guild and the Sri Jawadhanapur University Evaluation Centre by the American Evaluation Association was held at the Parliament premises yesterday. The award is presented with the aim of strengthening development activities taking place outside of the U.S. They said that Sri Lanka's effort to publicize development activities among the public is significant. First, let me say that, uh, or first, let me congratulate the Sri Lanka Parliamentary Forum for its achievements. And as a speaker, I'm very proud of them. I also like to congratulate the University of uh, Sri Jawadhanapura for receiving this award. I'm having great pleasure to work with them. Last uh, couple of uh, months, we have been working with them uh, very closely. I'm sure uh, eventually this will benefit the parliamentarians as well. Female members of parliament have requested female voters to cast a preference vote to women contestants at the forthcoming general election. A special media briefing of female members of parliament took place at the parliament complex yesterday. 
They said it is regrettable to note that there are only 12 women among 225 parliament members. They pointed out that one of the main reasons is not having a separate quota for women at the general election and provincial council election, although there is a quota of 25% at local government elections. Therefore, they requested the female voters to mark a preferential vote for women candidates at the forthcoming general election. Approximately 52% of women in our society and of the voters, approximately 56% are women. However, at the decision-making levels, women representation is very poor. Now, in the present parliament, we have only 12 women, which is around 5.3%. But we, this is not satisfactory. We are the lowest in the South Asian region. Even globally, we are the lowest few countries among the lowest. So it is very important that women are represented at the decision-making level, which is the highest body is the parliament. So our humble request is from the uh, voters at the forthcoming parliamentary election, please consider using one of your preferential votes for a woman. Finally, in local news, a person who had allegedly messaged death threats to Minister Chamal Rajapaksha has been arrested by the Colombo Crimes Division at Rajagiriya. The suspect had sent a text message to the minister's phone threatening him with death. A special inquiry by the CCD had led to the arrest of an employee of a private security firm. Investigations have revealed that the suspect had previously sent similar threatening messages to several other people as well. With that, we wrap up our today's edition of ITN News. Thank you for joining me. Bye for now and have a pleasant day.